welcome to a super windy East Nuka 5. I'll take you in and show you where we are this week. So here's the progress. This is the main hall. As you can see, all of the pews are gone. Everything's been removed basically. The floor and the joists have been lifted, removed, and they're making way for a concrete pour slab that is going to be put in there about 150 mil thick. Uh, on the middle of the second week that should go down and uh, yeah that will provide the foundation for everything else that comes above so there'll be an isolation shell wall uh, that will be built around the perimeter of this rectangle and that will go floor to ceiling which is about seven meters um, and then within the internal you've got the slab and then uh, pillars will be formed on top of that slab and then stud flex pads which are like rubber sort of duplo blocks will be put on top of those pillars and then the remaining floor will be built from there. And that's what a floating floor is. So yeah, it's good progress. Structural engineer has signed off on everything today. Um, so yeah, we're looking good. And uh, I'll take you around the rest of the building so you can see a picture of it a bit clearer again. So this is the rear hall to the church. Uh, this would have been here in 1843 when the church was built. Um, but we're gonna renovate this into a lounge basically for the studio. and. Uh, uh, new flooring is going to go down, it's going to be decorated, we've got new glazing going in, it's a big skylight here. Um, yeah, that's, that's kind of the lounge and uh, we have a toilet and bathroom through there but I can't show you that because it's like the one that you and McGregor climbed down in Chainspoint. Um, so let's go to the kitchen. So here's the kitchen. As you can see it's being ripped out. We've got a new kitchen going in here at a later date. Um, this window here is going to be knocked through to form a uh, doorway through to our courtyard out the back which is going to be good. Um, we've got ADT putting an alarm system in at the moment which is pretty high tech with sort of police response and stuff. Um, and over here we have some plans so I'll show you a video of plans. So essentially that's the main hall of the building uh, and you can see the mix from there. And that's showing the isolation shell and some sort of crazy looking man in the middle there. So this is the vestry of the church. Um, as you can see here, we have the original bell. And that leads up to the upper gallery. And over here we have a front office. This again will be fully renovated. Um, secondary glazing and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'll take you upstairs. So here we are in the upper gallery. Uh, these, we believe, are the original pews that were put here in 1843. So some of the graffiti and the scribbles by very bored people are quite kind of fascinating to look at. So we found sort of engravings up here from sort of 1860, loads from sort of 1912, 1910, um, and people were putting their actual addresses down while they were scribbling, which is not the best way to be a criminal. Um, but yeah, we're going to try and recycle these as much as possible. They do look really good. I think it's pitch pine. See all the original artwork. Um, but yeah, this, this area will be fully renovated. There's not really, we're going to use this as storage for now. It's going to be all of the plastering will be finished here and uh, properly boarded. And then this looks down on the, the uh, mix room there that you can see. So I'll update a bit more later on, but hopefully you've got a clear picture now of the building.